You know, once upon a time, a mocha frappuccino from Starbucks used to look like this. Today it looks more like this. And while researching this recipe and discovering this amazing Reddit thread, I found out what could be my preferred way of having mocha frapp. There's a couple of elements like vanilla syrup, chocolate sauce. I'm gonna link all that down below. Let's start preparing this. Now for a quick preview of the vanilla syrup, it just needs sugar, vanilla extract, and water. All you gotta do is put the sugar and the water in a saucepan, add your vanilla in there, and bring this all up to heat. It should start to steam, and once you have that, you can take that away. If you want to know how to make the whipped cream in a dispenser and the chocolate sauce, check it out down below. Now you definitely need a good blender for this to get that nice quality drink and I'm using my Vitamix. I used to have a Ninja, but that was not that great, so I replaced it with this. I'm gonna add in my milk first, followed by my coffee. Now I brewed a strong coffee. If you want, you can also use a coffee concentrate like Javi, not sponsored. Now add in your chocolate chunks and then your Oreos. I'm gonna add two, but you can really control how much you want. You want some of that chunkiness and the cookiness in that drink. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla syrup. Now, the modern recipe does not use this anymore, but I'm pretty sure there's some sort of sweetener in their mocha sauce that they use. So it really is up to you how you add the sweetness. Then you have the ice, and this is roughly about a cup of ice, four large ice cubes. And then I heated up my chocolate sauce in the microwave, and you can add like two, three drizzles of it right in that blender. Then close it up and get ready to start blending. I'm gonna go on a speed two and three, like right in the middle. And you want that because you don't wanna make it pureed. You want some of those chunkiness. Um, you don't want the ice to be too thick, but you don't want that icy, the frostiness in a frap that you all love to go away. And you want those cookie chunks in there as well. And what's interesting is the new iteration of this recipe uses whipped cream on the bottom and on the top, but the old one only had it on the top. Well, I'm gonna incorporate the good part, the extra whipped cream, followed by a drizzle of that awesome chocolate sauce. Then pour in that frap, let that cream rise up, and then yes, we're gonna top that up with a bit more cream right on the top, and then pretty it up with some more of that chocolate sauce. Link is down below, by the way. And then that Oreo, nah, I'm not gonna crack that. I took that away and I grinded it up in like a modern pestle and then sprinkle it up with your spoon. Let that be nicely ground up just for that awesome texture. Now, before you click away, let me know, do you think this looks just like it came out of a barista, like Starbucks? And let's see how it looks compared to the ones that you get at the store nowadays. Now, you know, my fiance is a big fan of the vanilla bean wrap. And if that's something that you like as well, then I'll probably make that next. But if there's something else you wanna see next instead, then let me know, I'll put that in the list. Now, if you want another fun in the sun wrap recipe, then check out my caramel ribbon crunch wrap. And thanks to all the channel members. I'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.